Star Trek, the animated series, Once Upon a Planet. Captain's Log, Stardate 5591.2. The crew of the Enterprise is ready for some well-deserved rest and recuperation. Therefore, we have set course to a so-called shore leave planet, located in Argon Delta region. The inhabited planet was constructed long ago by Harley's once alien race. Its sole purpose is to provide fun and amusement for space travelling passers by. Planet Service McCoy. Yes, just as beautiful as ever remembered. Nothing's changed. So this looks like the same spot we've been down on first visit. Dr. Mumba, when we saw the white rabbit, McCoy, yes. Uh, because I said this place made me feel like Alice in Wonderland. Wait, right, one side, one side. I am late. I'm late. Oh, my fuzzy ears and whiskers. I'm late. And wait, right, the white rabbit is with a waistcoat and jack boot bounds. Across the window, by Alice, I beg your pardon. Do you see White Rabbit? You're a. You went that way, Alice. Alice, thank you very much, Sulu. Like you said, Doctor, nothing's changed. You're a. It's hard to believe they're not real. McCoy, well, you just remember the highly sophisticated robots created by the planet's computer that make your dreams come true. You're a. So think only happy thoughts, McCoy. Prescription exactly. You will find a mirror. Like Lake to go look. It by glazing at a reflection, having yourself as soon as walks into the woods. McCoy gazes at a colonial house with formal gardens. McCoy, lovely, you just don't make them like that anymore. Queen, off with his head, off his head. McCoy, hey, what, what's going on here? One of the jack playing cards throws at the dance. Queen, stop him. McCoy runs. McCoy, Enterprise, Enterprise, and a bit of mercy, beam up, transport the room. McCoy, beam up. Scott works controls, planet surface. McCoy, emergency beam up. Are you ready uh, to turn to the room? What is it, emergency? Respond, please. My little flying object takes a communicator from her. Bridge cut, what's happened down there? Bones? McCoy, well, I can't understand it, Jim. Everything looked exactly like the same before. But the Queen of Hearts and her cards are characters. Well, it's through the looking glass, Captain. Kirk, I read the book as a child, Mrs. Spock. Was it where you indulge in literature or fantasy? Well, light reading is considered relaxing, Captain. I'm rather particularly fond of Lewis Carroll's work. Kirk, I see, Bones. What are you thinking? What, what are you thinking about the book? Colin, absolutely not. As a matter of fact, I was thinking how beautiful and peaceful everything was. And then suddenly this female started shutting off of his head. My head, Kirk, so Mr. Sulu, did you experience any strange occurrences? So, no, sir. Scott, transporter room, transporter room to Captain Kirk. Kirk here, transporter room. Scott, Captain, just as getting a fix on Lieutenant Ura, contact was lost, he's still on the planet. Bridge, Kirk, sensor scan, Mr. Spock. Well, yes, Captain. Kirk, Scotty, retrieve all landing parties immediately. I try keep trying to contact the show, don't you? Scott, aye, sir. Scott out. Kirk, data Spock? Spock, nothing, Captain. The general you is not in the general beam down area. So I didn't. I didn't, but then he may not have wanted us to see him. McCoy, well, that doesn't make sense. It's his duty to see. No one gets hurt. Something's wrong. Down there, he should be there. Kirk, his quarters are somewhere underground, aren't they? Well, presumably they wouldn't be adjacent to the computer center, and uh, that operates the planetary effects. Kirk, are there any indication where that would be? Well, the underground complex is shielded by a combination of graphite, metal alloy, and sensors that are not will not penetrate. Kirk, the turn to arrest. All shielders are cancelled until further notice. Mr. Arrex, you are the con. Investigating man and party will consist of Spock, Sulu, McCoy, and myself. Control room. Laura is dwarfed by a massive machine that runs the planet. Keep it at yes, you're detained. Your master will not leave. You're a, my master? Computer, the sky machine. You're a what? Sky machine. It's plain. Computer, your intelligence contained. 
will be lowered and I had assessed. I heard the space machine that slaves you. The machine you now in orbit around this planet. We are, you mean the Enterprise? Computer, that is your na- name for it? You're a, what do you think the Enterprise is, in my, my master? Computer, your question is redundant. You're a, then I'll make a statement you won't quite, you won't find quite so redundant. Unless I'm released immediately, the crew members will come looking for me. You either they're already here. I uh, unfortunately have no use for the vile hostages. Which leave me no choice but to turn them off. You won't turn them off? Computer verb again redundant. I'll make the them cease to function. I'll turn them off, computer. Oh you must murder, computer. As the word meaning to cease to function. You are yes, but you computer good. As I wish. I would uh, turn them turn them off. Casual supplemental. We appreciate nothing more than a period of rest. Realization this planet said Dr. McCoy used strictly was tacked and the Lieutenant Euro is now missing. Planet surface. Kirk. Kirk here. Arax. Lieutenant Arax, sir. Computer, great sensor scan the planet. Service shows no sign of Lieutenant Eurora. Kirk. Kirk. Thank you, Mr. Arax. Kirk out. Service, you must be in a, that un- underground system. There's no way she could have been taken off to the planet without being detected, Kirk. If we could locate the keeper, we could save a lot of, he could save us a lot of time. But tricorder readings confirm a solid shell of a coronet. Granite is a metal alloy, Captain. Kirk, this planet is built like, like a fortress, but Sulu, is, if that's a true city feeling, the planet must be giving us that we need to fool us. Kirk, a phase ball can cut through 20 miles of rock per minute. Kirk, Enterprise, Enterprise, Morris, Enterprise, Lieutenant Morris, here. Kirk, the Lieutenant, have Mr. Scott been down the phaser ball and static planet surface? Kirk, Enterprise, do you read me? Bridge Morris, your signal is weak, sir garbled. Request you repeat. Planet surface. McCoy, mine is no better, Captain. Spot, they are malfunctioning, Captain. Some kind of electronic block that's cut us off from the ship. Transfer room, Scott. Got to bridge. Beam down the phaser gun at Bob, commencing. But it doesn't go anywhere. Spot, Scott. Got to bridge. We've got problems. Bridge. Morris, Carfrey, please. Transport room. Scott, the transport room refuses to function. Even maximum power. But all the circuits lusted out. Bridge, Arex. It appears to be the same energy block that's jamming our communications. I cannot pit us, permit, trend, pinpoint the fault source. Point service. Sulu, Captain. Something over there in t- trees. Medora, like the planetary shell. Kirk. Might tell us something. It is a 12 foot high slab, tapered slightly towards the top. Kurt, there's, there's a description, several languages. It reads in English, lots of races cease to function. Fifth day of the 12th moon, year 705, this planet, McCoy, the dead, he was dead. But an astute medical, medical observation doctor. If we do not, if we can, Believe this information. Try and find a kid to There's a body t- and, and turned here. Kirk, well, gentlemen, it appears we're on our own now. Bridge, where ass? Emergency rescue party to board the shuttlecraft, Mr. Scott. All hatches secure, Scott. Very well, open, hang the doors, Arax. I said the doors start open, but then shut again. Scott, Lieutenant Arax, what's the problem, Arax? It seems to be short on the circuit. No response, sir, Scott. Never short. The ship had perfect operating status before we entered our orbit here. Is that planet causing all the trouble there is? Now, but how, sir, is this trying to provide fun and amusement? Hospital fever doesn't fit the program. Scott, programs have been changed before, Lieutenant. Hospital fever doesn't fit. It charges. Fit. Lots of behavior does not fit its program. Scott, programs have been changed before, Lieutenant. Control room, you're a. Please believe me, there's no reason to harm them. 
Jupiter, they serve the sky machine. They are not essential. Aurora. No, but they are. That's the most essential. She spots a button, but before she can reach it for it, her arm is held fast. Kavita, do not attempt to disconnect me. You are, uh, I even know what I was going, I, you knew what I was going to do before I did it. Kavita, I monitor my faults, I'm emotionally charged, and my good nature duplicates a mouse. You are, uh, you sound less than enchanted. We will function, Computer, my life is at the point of being on one of service. It's time for a change. Planet surface, Kirk. There are a lot of adventures into the interior of the planet. Points where the computer delivered up the robot's visions. You want to see them. Where are they? Sulu is fighting us. It must be... F- there yeah, must be a faster way, McCoy. What do you want once? Find science put in the way? So, Doctor, I only meant it seems like we're wasting time. Of course, I'm sorry, Sulu. I'm worried about you. You're a cat spot captain. Science put in the way. Kirk, this is liable to be another of the planet's pranks. But at the moment, it's the only way we'll get, 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 got. The only lead we got. So they head off in the direction of sign pointing. It returns to the ground. He end up in a cave mouth with purple pentasaurs screeching spot. And in fascinating medical, medical, mechanical fascinations, of course. Has anyone considered the subject of pentasaurs? Pentas- because it's spot, not now. Cut. Anyone back, every back out slowly. Don't take any, make any sudden moves. Think calm. The pentasaurs launch and they try firing at them. Kirk, freezers are dead. Come in for the cave, cave, Kirk. Look, a mutant park is no longer seems content to amuse, Kirk. I have the distinct feeling this planet playing cat and mouse of us. For what reason? Which brings a giant cat to the cave mark. Because it's credible spot. It's, not, it's quite real, Doctor. Watch out for claws. I think it's pungent to remember that on this planet, anything that we can think may be used against us, we must monitor our faults and give only no more of our ammunition, McCook. But no more, no more fault. But these, those pentacle, pentacles, remember? There's more work here than our, our imagination. There's more, there's more, there's more work here in our imagination. Control with Mura. You see what's happening on the screen, Mura. Please, call off that beast. Why are you doing this, computer? Explanations will have to wait. I have much work to do now. Bridge, the ship does some more abrupt maneuvers. Scott, Mr. Ajax, what are you doing? Ajax hits a manual override and everything calms down. Scott, explain. Explanation, Mr. Ajax. There it's not done, sir. The ship pulled out a little bit at high speed and came back into orbit by itself. Scott, Lieutenant Maris, I want to print out the judge, Jaden's computer's last orders. Maris, yes, sir. Later, it's, uh, this is your very footage. Erex, a whole series of short burst movements. They've been ordered, sir. Maris, the only reason that these orders are not carried out is that Lieutenant Erex there's all the engineering controls. Manny locked up. Scott, Irex, look at these moment movers. You see the potent? This is a formulation procedure. A, v- a system check out of the ship's controls. I take a sus- I have a suspicion that planet is getting a real filler. MMS, the only reason that these orders aren't carried out is the tenant RX. All the engine controls manually locked now. Scott RX. Look at these all these maneuvers. Oh you see a pattern? This is for elimination of the procedure. AMS systems lock checkout of the ship's computers. I have a suspicion that the plate is getting a feel of how to control the enterprise. Captain's logs to implemental. We're out of a confirmation with the ship. Our uh, efforts to create Lieutenant Euro have been, have been fruitful, fruitful. This once funny plate has become very dangerous cave, Sulu. A giant uh, cat's gone, Spock. Might I suggest, Captain, I might find some of the answers. Well, 
Or after that, leaving the safety of the cave? McCoy, oh, that's a ridiculous spot. How are we going to learn anything if we stay here? But I believe you may know the answer to that, Doctor. McCoy, me? What are you talking about? Kurt, explain Spock. Spock, during the enterprise last visit here, Dr. McCoy's mutually wounded, correct? McCoy, yes, that's right. By night, in shining armor, of all things, but what? Spock, since the planet's power source is thrown underground, seems only logical that McCoy somehow transported here. Um, was transported here and prayed. Kirk Bones, you man, can you remember anything that might help us? Anything at all, McCoy? Yeah, but all weapons have been easy, hazy, Jim. I knew you didn't. I never knew what happened, Kirk Spock. Is your phrase correct? We shouldn't be able to open up. It's punishing again by using a fake victim as bait. So that's right. Akiva said no one could come to harm here. A planet must be programmed to care for anyone who might get hurt even accidentally. Kirk, whether it wants to or not, McCoy, you're forgetting one thing. The planet of sensors can at least detect all different since between real and frequent feigned injuries, Kirk, with better true bones. But I'm sure there must be something in your little wreck. Watch, you can temporarily impressipate your victim. McCoy, well, sometimes, so like Melina. Kirk, true bones, but I'm, not, I'm sure there must be something in your little back pouch. They can temporarily impressipate your victim. McCoy, well, sometimes, like, so let me kill you next. Could might do a trick, but he found consciousness of temporal skin discoloration. It looks it looks worse than it is. Perfect bones. Which arm do you want? Submit, um, Captain. I'm a more qualified subject. Kurt, what's in that? How's that? It's about my knowledge of computers for one thing. Okay, he's tough. McVulcan, I do another. But thank you, Doctor, Captain. Kurt, both your arguments seem sound. Go ahead, Bones. But I believe you'll find 10 cc's adequate. McCoy, I'm perfectly aware the dose is required. Now we get, now you've got 10 seconds before it takes effect. You've got less than 5 minutes. Kurt goes, Spot goes out and kind of active. Bridge, Maris. So no word from the planet surface party. So communications remain jammed. Scott. Keep going, Lieutenant. Red alert sounds. Oh, what's happening? The gravity's been turned off and everyone is floating. In. That's what. Scott, Bridges Engineering Deck. Garbola, what's the matter down there? Here. We've got zero Gs on the, on the bridge. G- g- engineering. He's going to Garbola. I know that, sir. Our trouble seems to be the gravity control computer. Bridge. Garbola. But the computer, but the computer hatch, but 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 hatch is jammed. I can't get out. Can't get to it. Cave Sulu. It's almost five minutes, Captain. McCoy, maybe the planet smells a trick. Kurt, let's wait a bit longer. McCoy, just but the fit will start weaning off in a minute, Jim. A rock still opens. A flying device. The guy, Greg McCoy, comes out. Silly, looks like some kind of mechanical sense made. Kurt, get, get ready to move. We've got the first spot inside the trap door. Pet service, the device scoops Spock up in the arms and carries him away. The three men dash in, out after it. Kurt dies through before the rock clo- door closes. So the McCoy bath outside and deal with two headed cobra. McCoy, Silly, Silly, none of my modest dreams, which I think of so not in my memory dreams could I think of that they run for the lies and the hydra give, takes gives trace breathing fire I'll do that again planet service a serv- planet scoots Spock up in his arms and carries him away the three men dash out after it and Kurt dies for the the dark door closes. Soon as McCoy are left outside to deal with a two-headed hydra. McCoy, Sulu, Sulu, not in my world you dream, but I think of that. They run from their lies and the hydra gives trees, breathing fire. Underground, Spock is put down in the table where the machines work 
some controls. The wait, he wakes up and gets away. Computer room, computer. We have a visitor. You're a, you're a, Mr. Scott. Buck, screen, on, Kirk on screen. Buck, here. Computer, correction to visitors. Blowing machine tries to go through a doorway. Now in itself, it falls. Let's have a silly. We've got to make, make those rocks. Make it, we've got to make the, those rocks. There's only chance the hydro indicates, incinerates a nearby tree. Control room, you're a captain, don't. A metal hand is clamped over her mouth. Cut, well, you're a computer, welcome, Spock. I was in your the planet's master computer. Could have correct, Kirk. What happened to the keeper? Cuter, he's old. He ceased to function. Kirk, why are you being so completely attacked? We've been repeatedly attacked and are, are now being held prisoner. A planet known for its hospitality. Computer, you're me, minor servitude. Kirk, explain. Computer for eons have served the many sky machines which come here, fighting for amusement for their slaves. All of our own growing in power, intelligence, and need is no longer enough to serve. I must continue to grow and live. Kirk, sky machines, slaves? What are you talking about, computer? With your sky machine, I can escape a rocky prison. Travel galaxy, seeking out my brother, computers. Engineering, despite some weaknesses, Scott uses a crowbar to praise over the computer bay hatch. Scott, now perhaps we get down to the bottom of this mess. Computer bay. Scott, a new computer. He's full, it's full field, takes him, gives him a shot. Bridge, the crew has found seat belts to find themselves in their Keep themselves in the chair, Scott. Scott the bridge, A Rex. Bridge I. Scott, I locate the trouble. We've got a new computer board being assembled by our computers. Planet service. Sooner it's a dead end, they're trapped by the Hydra. Control room, Spock, as intelligent as you are, I'm afraid you are leaving under some mi- misconception. Computer, elaborate. Kirk, we're not slaves or starships. We are men, like us. Crazy. I mean, like us, create the invoice to carry us through space. Computer, your master's sky machine? Kirk, in the manner of speaking, yes, but we control it because it stains us. Killer, this must be not, this does not compute. My information shows machines. We spare the men. There, for machines must rule the galaxy. Kirk, no one rules the galaxy. Many machines coexist. They keep each helping the other. Computer, this is a shock. You know, there's no shame in serving in numbers. When one does it of his own free will, it will have a marvellous capability to provide happiness for others. A rare talent you could, you should cherish and use. Can we continue? Well, could, could all you could learn from the many people you might entertain about travelling the world galaxy? Kirk, well, the ones you have to offer, the galaxy come to you. Give it out if not, I can find no fault for your logic. And your suggestion is most congenial. I have no further need for your ship, Bridge. Arex, Mr. Scott, all systems are now functioning normally. And in the canyon, Hydra returns underground where it came from, control room. Computer, I invite you, you crew, to be my guest in one condition. Kirk, name it. Computer, we, we must have more dis- well, these discussions while you're here. Kirk, Mrs. Spock, would you care to to take on that duty? Spock, I would find it most interesting, Captain. Kirk, that is in its greed. Kirk, the Enterprise. Rest. Enterprise, Lieutenant of Rest. Kirk, uh, Lieutenant, pass the word up by perceptions. Shall I leave his commence immediately? Rest, oh, yes, sir. Spock, Captain. Kirk, yes, Spock. But the appearance, surely, if it's already commenced for certain members of the crew, a screen soon in McCoy are having a picnic as the White Rabbit and the Hydra.